Alright, round two. And we're going to have to mulligan this hand. One land, not going to work. We're going to have to mulligan this hand as well. And I guess we keep this hand. It's actually, for a uh, five card hand, it's pretty damn good. things down anyway. One evolve. No attacks. Um hmm. I wanna mug somebody. Don't know if I want to mug the three power flyer or the, the guy who's going to evolve into something probably pretty nasty. Um, I think I'm just going to get rid of experiment. No, no. Let's see. I've got ways to deal with this guy, I guess. So. And we extort. He's more of an immediate problem. He's more of a long-term problem. We're not under any immediate danger, so. Infantry or Scorch Walker? We War Mind Infantry leaves the Scorch Walker as a combat trick. To get rid of this guy could be potentially pretty annoying. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. And yeah, we can extort with the black. Fortunately, his uh, Blood Rush ability does not trigger uh, extortions, which is a little bit sad. Yeah, so this guy would have been 3 3 with the enemies. And. Well, maybe he would have. Yeah. I don't know. Depending on whether he might have switched the order of the, on those around riot gear. Alright, well, I guess we're going to try and take out the enemies. We've got no chance to get through it, through it later if we don't do it now, so. He does no blockers, so he just takes two. I think we still want to keep this in hand as a combat trick rather than playing it out, especially this thing is very likely to get to 3-6, so. Those uh, Drake Queen Crassuses are going to start to uh, fry my bacon pretty quickly here. We do have some extort available. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's running an Orzov Guild Gate. Turned him into a three. Well, at three seven, that's still enough seven power. We'll get through it. So. 
Yay. Just play that out in case we need to Boros Charm. sweet if uh, we could have uh, if he didn't block we could have Scorch Walker and Boros charmed for uh, 14 damage still wouldn't be quite quite enough but, so we're gonna have to try and figure out something here he's uh, he's gonna hit me for six this turn So we need to figure out a way to uh, get rid of at least one of these guys or something. That's an issue. Yeah, I think we're like dead dead. We're dead. Let's just see if he does anything. No attacks. So he's Pain Simic with uh, possible like black and white splash, I guess. Be kind of odd. So anything I want to change in here? that we might want a millennial gargoyle even though it's just going to trade with most of his stuff but what else are you going to do and bum 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 Scorch Walker might not be good against him, like at all. Although it does, and the Boros Charm trick is pretty nice. Pit fight. Yeah. Massive breed. No, I want to keep early damage in, although it's not really early damage with two two drops, no one drops. Um, yeah, maybe Massive Raid goes away. Maybe not. Maybe Scorch Walker or Massive Raid. Oh, I don't know. I just don't know. You heard Massive Raid, that could be pretty dead pretty easily. All right. We'll run it like this. Play first again, and that's an okay enough hand. It's not great, but it's got removal, and I got a two drop. So that'll make me happy. Pit fight's not very good. I'm happy to take the trade here, so I will offer it. Didn't think he would take it. And the silica guards. Now, if we can get up a, a little bit more on mana, we can active treason and pit fight in the same turn, which could be pretty uh, interesting. Now we're going to get up that, to that mana. 
And uh, I think we continue to offer the trade. Trade accepted. Okay. Uh, we do have the option to arrows of justice that guy if we want to. And we might want to. I don't know. We would get an extort off of it. Um, okay, we'll do it. should have taken this card when I had the chance. Alright, well, we've got the ability to deal with um, a lot of stuff you could potentially do. You can pit fight and active trees and try and two for one it. Phantom. So we could active treason right now just to uh, force him to bounce it back to his hand. It's not horrible, but I think I want to save it for uh, being able to pit fight it as well. Twenty-one life, so no big deal. Oh, my deck is horrible, horrible, horrible draft. I wasn't planning on playing another one tonight, but I might just to try and prove that I don't suck quite this badly. A fathom mage. Okay. to think yeah um, if he has a creature that will evolve the fathom mage I will uh, pit fight with him before it resolves okay that's fine beginning of your upkeep yeah he's gonna get mugged that's just like a giant mugging target right there So assuming he plays the other 5-5 five five next turn, we can active treason and pit fight um, next turn. So that'll be a 2 for 2. Be pretty decent. Still not getting much traction here. Phantom, yep. Alright, so we active treason. That guy. Yeah, that guy. We can't even, we can even double extort her. You know what I mean. 
start off with this and I can start off a pit fight. He takes uh, yeah. So we're actually in decent shape here. He's down to one card in hand. Uh, if we could draw a black card, or is one of our four swamps, we'll have some extra removal and this guy in available. We've got extortion going on. We just need to... Uh... That's not good. That's not good. I don't know what it is, but it's not good. I'll tell you that much. No, that's not good. Okay, so that's yep, and we got three. These are these were the only three uh, black cards in the deck, right? Or is there one more? There's one more. There's the alms piece. Three out of the four black cards I draw, and I don't draw any of the four swamps. This is just the way I'm doing it now. Hey! Um, shite. So I guess I... Wow. How do I not die this turn? He's got... I think I'm still dead, but let's... Like, this is, yeah, this is game two, so damned if I do, and I'm damned if I don't. And we'll just take a look at that card Fathom Mage. Oh, yeah. Wait, he has two of them? Jesus. I guess, I mean, it's, it's, it's potentially great and potentially just worthless, so. I don't know. We're still dead. But we'll play it out. Rage Beast, or was he already? And in hand, okay. Well. That's pretty gnarly. No, but he didn't draw in the turn he played. Thought I actually might be able to win. survive another turn mm. what you played was pretty solid So I guess we're technically not dead dead. 
but it's looking pretty grim. So you can block the experiment one with the Warmind Infantry or the Synetic Enforcer. Yep, so one of these guys has to jump in the way and probably this guy, I guess. Well, actually, that, that has some, some relevance here. Although, if he plays like any creature, he can just trade it off, so. But now he has the ability to, in theory, trade with the Rage Beast if he attacks next turn. He'll probably have some creature he can just... Because everything now fights when they come in. Uh. Yeah, these are all fine cards. Or okay cards, anyway. Tech, yep. Oh, whoops. Uh, stop on my opponent's turn of combat damage because I think I can wait until that step and cast Executioner's Swing and still get an extort off of it. No, I guess not. Verdant Haven. Okay. Alright, I guess I'm not dead yet. I have no idea what two cards you could have in hand. So... Don't tell me. So that doesn't do anything until he gets some plus one, plus one counters. So we might have a chance here. We're actually in pretty good shape. Yeah. I'm really surprised. I thought it was done. I just happened to, I guess, like, Warmind Infantry was like the super nut thing to draw. Don't give him any kind of chance to come back from it. Pretty sure he's dead at this point. Game three time. All right, so, um, oh wait, I think we want the Thrall Parasite. 
Um, and maybe one more. Um, let's see, we got rid of we got rid of massive raid. So I think we want one more swamp and cut a mountain for that. And um, sorry, we want to probably also cut. Uh, one of the four drops probably. Scorch Walkers doesn't seem great. No, it, it does. It does trade with his five five. It. Uh, yeah. It's okay. Madcap skills actually seems decent against him. I haven't seen any removal. Um. Alms Beast. That was my color. So we got those five there. And that leaves us with uh, seven and seven sources of our primary colors, I guess. Uh, which is pretty low, but I guess we'll just go with maybe not. Let's see. We got rid of all the. We got both, rid of both the double red casting cost cards. So maybe we should actually just run forty one and leave him in. Hmm. <laughs> so many choices. So many choices. I think we run 41. We're on the draw. Alright, we'll just run it this way. Alright, we'll keep this. It's a hand. It's slow, but we got some removals up top. It doesn't seem like a crazy aggressive deck. Alright, I'm gonna need to stop drawing so many lands. Um, I don't think we want to. We really should have led with the planes. Uh, instead of the the that the mountain, so we could have done executioner swing, which I want to keep the mugging open. He's got two fathom mages, so I really want that to be in there. And these my other removal spells um, are a little trickier. They won't work on the fathom mage unless he's attacking, basically. A scramble shark. Alright, well, so I guess we're going to uh, Arrows of Justice or Executioner swing somebody. Probably uh, Arrows of Justice, the Scramble Shark, I think is the correct play. Trying to maintain our life total and draw something. Yeah, Fathom Mage. You are not long for this world, my friend. It's uh, potentially very good. Sometimes just not a
So. Croconeur is pretty good. I haven't seen any Croconeurs. I mean, Croconeur is a good card. Um, so I could Executioner swing him. I think I'm going to just take two and deal with it. Leave up some removal for something potentially worse. Now I wish... No, wait. I can still do it now. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want those plus one pack counters going crazy. Alright, so we draw a guy who's actually going to potentially cause him some headaches. I like that. Yep, ooze flux. Eh, not in horrible shape. He does still have, have uh, some cards in hand and whatever this is. 3-3 three, three flyer. Yeah, that's that's potentially an issue. Very potentially an issue. Uh, I see no reason not to give him vigilance. Although, I mean, it might have been better just to leave, leave the mana open. So he's got three plus one plus one counters. He can remove counters to put stuff out. Fathom Mage. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa. That's going to be an issue. We're going to have to beat him down very, very quickly. Alright, so we'll attack with both, and I want to... Uh, I'll Blood Rush. Alright, so I'm hitting for him for six this turn. Okay, I'll save the Blood Rush for next turn. But this could get ugly pretty quickly. Yep. So he has the option, he can use the Ooze Flux and pull a counter off of each of these guys to put in a 2-2. Two -two that will uh, evolve this guy and let him draw another card. I think that's a pretty solid move for him. Or he could just do that. Yep. And he can uh, remove some counters. We're, we're in a spot of trouble right here. We need to draw, like, the... Um, we need to kill him like this turn. We need to draw like Act of Treason, which probably s may still wouldn't be enough. I don't think it wouldn't get get us get us close at least. Mad skills. Okay, so we. Like I said, we need to kill him this turn. And we've got Mad Skills and Scorch Walker. Oh, yeah, we got it. Uh, Mad Skills onto the Millennial Gargoyle. He can't block him. And then we Scorch Walker on top of that for the kill. Unless he's got, unless he's got uh, the... Uh, the whatever one blue turned the guy into a 3 3. I think we got him. And might as well give him vigilance.
think he's just creating a token. Which will give him another card draw. But I think we actually have this. And I guess it was a good good idea to keep this guy in the deck. Creates a 4-4. Four, four. Gets to draw a card as long as it's not the... What the hell is the name of that card? I have it in here, right? It's the Rapid Hybridization. Just don't have that. If he has it, that's pretty much game. But, whatever. Holy. I was so dead. Yep. Alright. So, we, we, we pulled, pulled, pulled one out of the fryer. That was pretty good. That was pretty good. Alright. So we'll see you in round three.